Different Mindset, Era, and Markets. The evolution of technical analysis is an amazing story that you will enjoy learning about even if you're not a finance geek. Don't miss out. In today's video, we're talking about the evolution of technical analysis and how it got to where we are today. It is an amazing and surprising story that I like to share to people. Early signs of technical analysis appeared in the 17th century by a merchant, Joseph de la Vega, accounts of the Dutch market. He wrote a book called Confusion de Confusiones, which is the earliest known book of the trading practices of a stock market. The book is actually really interesting and is four separate conversations between three people. It's really interesting because you can get a feeling about how investing and speculating was like a really long time ago. Technical analysis was also utilized by a merchant in Edo-era Japan in an effort to benefit from the Osaka rice futures market. Only actual trade of rice was done at first, but beginning in 1710, a futures market was developed where coupons stood in for future deliveries of rice. The method was further developed by Homa Munehisa during the early 1800th century, which evolved in the use of candlestick techniques. We are going to go deep on the candlestick technique in another video since there is a lot to be said about that. Munehisa wrote about the first type of technical pattern in his 1755 books The Fountain of Gold, the Three Monkey Record of Money. He clarified how a person's emotions might cause trends and reversals. He employed a variety of candlestick chart patterns, including the advancing three soldiers, the night and the morning stars. The Japanese government appointed Munehisa as a financial concealer after seeing his skills as a knowledgeable dealer in the rice market. Additionally, Homa received the honorable samurai title. Technical analysis as we know it today was actually introduced by Charles Dow in the Dow Theory in the late 1800s. Dow compiled and analyzed American stock market data and published some of his conclusions in editorials for the Wall Street Journals in the late 1800s. He believed business cycles and patterns could possibly be found in the data. He never, however, advocated using his ideas as a stock trading strategy. Oh, and by the way, Dow didn't just wrote articles, he actually founded the Wall Street Journal and the Dow Jones Industrial Index. He recorded his daily, weekly, and monthly averages to look for patterns in the flow of the market. He then wrote articles explaining the previous patterns and how they predicted previous market events. After Dow passed away in 1902, his disciple built on his theory and tried to make money of the market by writing out trends before jumping ships when they noticed a reversal. Charts were utilized by Dow's followers to spot these openings. As a result, they were frequently grouped with charlatans and snake oil setters. We see many lamentable characters trading from one broker's office to the next. Dow theorist Mr. Gartley wrote in 1938, with a few charts under their arms suggesting just exactly what the market is about to do. When questioned, they have many explanations as to why their previous judgments were in error. However, not all of the Dow theorist's work was false. The moving averages crossover, a signal for which many have since found empirical support, was a vital tool in their toolbox. Moving averages crossovers of various periodicities could offer buy and sell signals when manually calculated by updating tables, such as the computational sheet you can see right now. Similar concepts are at the heart of current straightforward trend following system. Early technical analysis was almost exclusively the analysis of charts, mainly because the computers were not powerful enough for the amount of statistics that needed to be analyzed. In the next few decades, the rise of mathematics and finance and computers getting stronger would really help technical analysis evolve. Nowadays, technical analysis has evolved to include hundreds of patterns and signals developed through years of research. We now see a lot of retail traders making decisions based only on price charts and similar indicators. Often, these people don't really have any financial education or experience in the market. They use these easy and fast ways to try and justify their trades. The technical analysis they do is based on nothing, since they often don't even use their candlestick charts correctly. That partially explains why some people will call technical analysis the astrology of finance. 
As always, comment, like, and subscribe if you've liked the video and want to be a better investor in the futures. Have a good day, everyone.